um, financial loss. It's actually a card of focus. So choosing to focus on what is existing in the mundane physical world, that's what coins um, are about, or focusing on the spiritual world. And that's where we see this nun, um, we see the light glowing through this stained glass window. So there's really two different options in this card. There is, this guy is the guy who's out in the cold, he's suffered financial losses, he feels cut off, he's, you know, his his head is bandaged, he's, he's definitely suffering in some ways, he doesn't have enough to eat, he doesn't have enough to get his wounds um, helped out. And then this nun, um, a religious person is comforting him and saying, you know, it's going to be okay. This card really emphasizes that this warmth, this glow, this spiritual energy is always available to us. And that is actually where true wealth is rather than a over preoccupation with, with what exists in the mundane physical world in terms of possessions, assets, money, that sort of thing. So when five of coins appears in reverse, it may mean a couple different things. It may mean that you're resisting um, getting help or resisting a focus on the spiritual world. You're stuck in being um, the five of coins guy who's who's just preoccupied with with what is currently existing, the financial situation, if it's providing you with um, difficulty or if you're feeling cut off, say you may need to open up to receiving help, receiving guidance, connecting with the spiritual world because there is, there is warmth and care and sustenance for you there. Um, if in the reverse position it says you may have doubts about that, you may have fears about that, you may have resistance against that. Um, but it is actually available to you. And then another another possibility with five of coins in reverse is that um, you you're not seeing. It could be like that you're not receiving help, or that you're not seeing that that's even there. That's not that's even available to you. Or you might be stuck in. No, I just have to make that that extra dollar. I just have to um, buy that extra thing. I just have to catch up and then everything will be fine. It kind of misses the point of five of coins, which is connection and focus on the spiritual world and, and letting go. If you remain focused on the physical world, it can, it can drain you. It can be sometimes like I see with this card, a, a funny enough, like a gambler, um, who just keeps thinking like, oh, if I just get that next break, and he goes further and further into financial loss, instead of turning to to reality and truth and and the comfort of you know you need to just stop digging yourself into a hole. So that's that's what I see here with five of coins in reverse. I also see this is empress in reverse, and empress is. A card of great fertility, of great abundance, prosperity, growth. So with these two cards together in reverse, Taurus, I'm going to ask, what is it, is there anything that, that you're holding in your consciousness that is blocking abundance, that is blocking, um, you know, wealth, it's blocking comfort, joy, is there any sort of anger, frustration, resistance, doubt, fear that is that is keeping these cards at bay. In other words, are you are you so focused on the material things at the beginning of August that you're you're missing out on all the um, extra prosperity, abundance, growth, fertility that that wants to show up for you? It's sort of like saying because you're focused on, or if you are focused on the. Um, you know, superficial world or the mundane world, you may be inadvertently blocking all this, all this growth and fertility, abundance, prosperity that actually wants to come. So sometimes by changing your focus to the spiritual world rather than just what's going on sort of out in the street in front of you, you may open up some, this card is real satisfaction. This card is like everything it's the natural world. It's the natural order of things. And you see, you know, the flowers bloom around here. Um, wheat is harvested around here. This is really a card of the harvest. 
And she, you know, she's got her foot on this crescent moon, which means intuition and femininity, putting herself in a place of receiving. That's really the strength of Empress, is that she's willing to receive. And whatever she touches grows. So I'm going to encourage you, beginning of August, if you're experiencing any financial loss, if you're experiencing any preoccupation in what what exists in terms of finances, possessions, assets, and values, see if you can tap into receiving and connection with that spiritual world because this this is a place of great satisfaction, whereas this is a, a place of great feeling bereft and feeling like... Um, you're left out in the cold. This is almost the opposite of that. So if you can address this, then it's likely that her energy will be able to show up for you. When cards are in the reverse position, as she is, it's kind of like they're here and waiting, but they're being kept at bay. They're like waiting in line to be let in. Or they're kind of like a seed underneath the surface of the soil waiting to sprout. And it's just, it's just like letting them in, opening up. Um, it's sort of like receiving being being in a receptive place you know receive being in, in a receptive place so that's that's the opening of august for you taurus if you have any questions about that um please feel free to put those in the comments because it's actually like there's all this abundance prosperity satisfaction and growth sitting here waiting for you you just have to put yourself in the place to receive it there's a, a message from esther esther hicks that says you know, when you put yourself in the right position, it's sort of like tuning yourself into the right radio station. All you have to do is put yourself on the right station and then the message comes in, the information, the signal comes in. You just kind of have to think of yourself as empress on that throne instead of as the beggar out on the street and things might turn around for you. Um, and then this is nine of wands and 10 of wands. This tells me that whatever you're going through, you're going to endure it. Um, Nine of Wands and Ten of Wands follow each other in the deck. And Nine of Wands is about survivorship. He's the survivor card. I sometimes call it the Cool Hand Luke card because he keeps getting knocked down and he keeps getting back up. So when this card shows up, um, it is in the reverse position. So it is saying, you know, it's possible that your, your travails and your troubles may be lightening up. Or that this is, you're at the tail end of the nine energy, which is the end of the cycle. And then ten is when it completes. So whatever it is that you're going through, if you feel like you're carrying a lot, this card, Ten of Wands, is about carrying burdens and, and collecting experience, feeling like you're weary or tired or things have been breaking your back. There's rest and relaxation that's coming up for you. This cycle is completing. It's going from nine to ten. This is when it ends. And then it looks like there's some rest and relaxation for you coming up in the middle of the month, Taurus. So with nine and ten of wands, this card is endurance and survivorship. This card is like oppression and the, the, or caring too much. So there's going to be a point, I'm getting like, this is where the dam breaks. You know, like when a, a beaver collects logs and woods and builds up a dam, you know, at a certain point, if you keep adding logs to it, it's going to break. Um, and so there's a, you're, this is the beginning of August. Taurus might be your breaking point of caring too much. And whenever this card shows up, I always ask, what is it that you can put down that's not necessary? Because you can see he's carrying the most amount of wands or branches possible. This is 10 on a card. So this is also the teacher card. So I always ask, what can you unload? What can you let go of? What can you, from what you've collected in your experience, what can you teach to others and therefore let go of and stop caring? Because this is very tired energy. It's very weary. It's very backbreaking. Like, I just don't know how much further I can go carrying this. And that's why I'm saying, I think this is where the dam's going to break. I think this is sort of like the last straw for you. Um, and then you're going to need to take a time out because you've been, you've been working hard and carrying a lot. Taurus is what this says to me. But you have endured through it, but you're, you're kind of feeling like maybe I, the next time I get knocked down, I just don't know if I can get back up. Um, so that's the energy of the beginning of the month seems a little heavy, but you can be in a good place of receiving if you can align with Empress energy. This might be a good card to look up too if you just type in Google um, 
or any internet search thing, Empress, then you can um, see further meaning of this card because this is this is a very positive card. If you can, if you can align with the energy of it, then in the middle of the month you have this Four of Swords card, which is all about taking a time out, taking a break, taking just reflecting on things. This card is about there's a soldier here who's taking a a moment from battle to fight another day, gather his strength. This is a card about R and R, rest and relaxation. Taking a taking time out. Your your break is coming up in mid August, Taurus. You've been carrying a lot and and handling a lot and working on on a lot. And um, it seems like finally in mid August, you know, after the levee breaks, you're gonna have a time to just recollect and think about things. And just uh, sometimes when I see this card, I just think like peace out. Like you just w wanna just lay down and dream and take a nap and hang up all these swords, which are your thoughts. Swords represent mental energy. Hang them up on the wall and just don't think about stuff for a while. Just relax, you know, really, um, really take a break. That's what this card is about. And then also in the middle of the month, there's gonna be something, these two cards together are definitely illusion. Um, this is like what you see is not what you get. So this card, Seven of Cups, you can see all the fog around this card. It's got a very Neptune flavor, which is all about uh, illusion, fantasy, you know. And this card is about choices and things appearing shiny, like the choices before us. Um, you know, you can go for victory, you can go for castles in the sky, jewels and riches, fame and fortune, you know, seduction by a person. There's all this, all these choices before you, but they may not be what they appear to be, especially with this devil card showing up. Because with devil, devil is sort of like a, um, the guy who says, you know, sign up here and I'll give you everything you want, but you'll just have to like be my slave forever. So don't take that deal. Um, it's basically giving yourself over to things that are seductive or shiny. You can see all these cups are shiny and appealing, but with, with these two cards appearing together, I'm going to say something may seem seductive or attractive in the middle of August, but don't go for it. It's what you see is not what you get. So even if it appears that it's something that looks like what you want, really check the references really like look behind the curtain really look that horse in the mouth that's appearing for you because it could be something that you get stuck in it could be something that you end up giving your power away to it's really a lie that's presenting itself to you a falseness it's sort of like um some fool's gold is what i'm going to say with these two cards look past it to see the light behind it that's going to be helpful to you or or really see really qualify your choices here because what looks these are this often appeals to our fantasy what we want our temptations that's actually one of the meanings of this card is temptation and same with this card temptation seduction passion but you know signing up for false truths so this says don't be swayed by tempting things there might be something very shiny and very seductive that looks like a good deal but is not in the middle of the month Taurus and you're gonna actually what this says is use your gut feelings a high priestess knows like there might be high priestess knows instinctually she's got gut um, gut inner knowing about things and you just need to rely on your intuition if something appears to be too good to be true in the middle of the month you'll have a gut feeling about it you'll say you know what it just doesn't feel right. Like, it seems like everything looks good on the surface, but something is telling me that something is off. And you need to rely on your gut instincts, Taurus, because they will actually, they will actually guide you in, in the right direction. You can see she's sitting on a throne and she's got this crescent moon. That's the feminine aspect. That's, she's in alignment with the subconscious. She's got this scroll on her lap, which represents real information, real truth. He's trying to present, uh, this represents misinformation or believing in false truth. So use your inner knowing, your inner instincts. You're actually going to have 
collected some inner strength through this resting period, and it will help you with getting quiet and listening. You don't need to rely upon logic, reason, or analysis when this card shows up. It's all about inner knowing, listening to your inner self, um, especially regarding any decisions that look attractive or that are tempting to you in the middle of the month. You will know better. Um, go by your gut instincts. And then at the end of the month, there's something that is that you're grieving over, Taurus. There's something, you know, it's funny, this this row here, there's two cards here that have to do with loss. This is financial loss. This is emotional loss. So this card can sometimes be considered grief or, um, you know, the person in the figure in the card is grieving over these three three cups that have been spilled. So there's some sort of loss or sadness or grief that that you may be experiencing towards the end of the month. But the point of this card is that when you turn around, there's still love available to you. Cups represent the emotions. They represent heart energy. They represent love. So even if there's someone that you've lost or something that you loved that was, was gone or something you had hoped for, wanted, something that your heart was connected to, you may need to let that go or allow yourself to grieve. That could be also part of what this is about, is letting yourself just have some time to recollect your thoughts and your, your emotions. And then once you turn around, there's all this love available to you. It's actually that your relationship may be a great source of radiance and sunniness for you. You can see in the card here that there's a couple here. Sun represents radiance and integration of both your female and male sides. It represents like peace and balance and integration and how things um, radiate forward when when that happens. It's really a card of joy. And it's really a card of like, if this is when, if this is when the clouds, you can see it's dark and this is sort of like a dark night of the soul and then the sun comes out. So once you turn around and you can see that there is love available to you, maybe there is some disappointment here. Maybe there's some sadness, some loss. If you focus on that, that's where you'll stay. But if you turn around, this is all available to you, especially at the end of the month, Taurus. Sun is one of the most positive cards of the deck. And just means feeling joyful, feeling radiant. You see all these sunflowers. It's just like when things light up, there's a lot of joy here, especially in re relation to your relationship if you're in one. But it can just be you being sunny and radiant and happy yourself. This is a great card of happiness. So if, even if you experience some sadness towards the end of the month, try to acknowledge it, go through it, and then turn around and realize like, in some ways, how good you have it. There's a lot to be happy about here when sun when the sun is shining on you. Um, there is some there is some more money stuff and and challenge and difficulty here. Um, but this card five five of wands can be looked at in two ways. Sometimes it's problems like competition, pettiness. Like this is I see these two together as like like struggling to pay your bills. Four of coins is um, trying to hold on to all your money or fear of money or, you know, f trying to maintain the status quo. And five of wands can be like petty annoyances, just struggles, you can see. But I call this card playing versus fighting. So really there's two ways to look at this card that may be like, you know, hassles regarding money. But I also see it as it could be playfulness. You know, and it could be, this card can lend some, it, in the card there's five people holding up sticks. So it could either be like five people going to war with each other and fighting, like a bar brawl. Or it could be like children playing. So I'll, I call this card playing versus fighting. And if you can see the humor in things or the absurdity in things, you can actually lighten up and like, there's a Buddhist saying that says, enjoy your problems. You know, like don't, don't let it get to you. See it for the small thing that it is. Don't, don't um, overanalyze it. Just look at it. See if you can adopt a playful attitude to it. And like, you know, like there, there goes the thing again. You know, there, here comes another water bill or whatever it is that that might be looked at as like a hassle. You can look at it as like a joke or 
or just adopt a playful attitude towards it because otherwise, you know, four of coins can be very immobilized and he can be, he can kind of echo, these two cards are right next to each other in the tarot, five of coins or four of coins. So one of the things I'm going to say to you for August Taurus is don't let your money woes, if you have any, um, don't let them get the best of you. You can actually still have fun. You can still play or you could fight. You know, it's, this is a card of, it's a lot of Mars energy. So there's a lot of competition here, a lot of just struggle, or if you can look at it as playing, you know, just like as in sports, you can be very competitive and aggressive and serious, or you can be like, hey, isn't this fun? So I am going to encourage you Taurus, there's some there's some difficult parts here, like especially in the middle of the month, there's going to be something that looks very appealing, but I wouldn't trust it at face value. This kind of reminds me of like Las Vegas or, um, you know, gambling, like the casinos are really opulent and rich and they, they seem to promise everything, but really the underbelly of it is not, not in your best interest. So question that and then you have some nice energy here like in terms of trusting your gut instincts um all this the sun again one of the most positive cards in the deck for happiness for fulfillment for radiance for vitality the sun is shining on you if you can get through these patches of difficulty and you know you do have empress showing up here you put yourself in a place to receive and she can she can lead the way for you on that. Maybe all it is is that you have to believe that that good things are coming to you, that growth, fertility, abundance, all the things that Empress represents are actually there. Because she is there. She's just being held. I, I get the sense that she's being held in reverse because there's too much focus on this five of coin stuff, which is five which is financial loss. So focus on the spiritual world. See if you can let go of some things here at the beginning of the month that you've been carrying. Give yourself some rest and relaxation. You need to gather strength. You're going to need to make a decision about something that might be tempting for you in the middle of the month, but you'll rely on your gut instincts. If you do experience any loss here or sorrow, um, just try to get through that and realize there's another day coming because there's a lot of beautiful sun energy here. Um, and then at the end of the month, again, if the money issues come up again, try to adopt a playful attitude towards it instead of being overly serious. That's going to help you get through this. Um, and, and employ, when this card four of coins shows up, this is the Midas card. So everything he touched turns to gold, but it, it traps him and it immobilizes him. So don't let money um, immobilize you, Taurus.